Hi guys, this is Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel, and this is part 13 of the Spectrum AR636 programming series. In this part, we're going to be discussing how to install the AR636 receiver in your model. When we go to install the AR636 in a model, it is important to remember three very distinctive things. First, we want to make sure that the pins of the AR636 are oriented and pointing in the direction that we set using the Safe Model Builder software in the Orientation tab. If for whatever reason you were to mount the AR636 upside down or sideways or backwards or forwards, whatever, if it is not mounted in the exact same orientation, you will have problems. Uh, that is, basically we're telling the receiver how the uh, airplane is going to be flying through the air and it needs to know what direction it's flying in so it knows how to correct for uh, you know say uh, some right turbulence that makes it roll to the right it wants to correct that back into the back to the left to maintain straight and level flight if it is backwards or sideways or anything weird like that you're going to have a little issues and we also want it to be as straight as possible inside the model because if it's skewed a little bit to the right or to the left, uh, basically if the receiver is yawed a little bit inside the, uh, the radio compartment, that could also cause some, uh, some unforeseen issues uh, with how the airplane is gonna behave once it's up in the air. So uh, keep it mounted uh, in accordance with the orientation that you set up and as straight as possible uh, inside the model. The second thing that we want to keep in mind is we want to mount the uh, the AR636 with something that is going to uh, be as firm as possible and hold it down for good. Uh, so some folks use um, use servo tape. Uh, I personally use the uh, the double sided Gorilla tape. And I have seen some folks use hot glue. For me, I would never use hot glue, especially if you fly in the heat. Uh, the hot glue can release, and if the AR636 does, uh, does come unmounted in flight, that's a bad day. Uh, your, your airplane is, is going to crash. Uh, if a gyro unit um, becomes dislodged inside the aircraft during flight, your your airplane will become erratic and the only way to save it would be to turn the gyro off um, and in a lot of these newer uh, newer horizon hobby like the bind and fly planes unless you go in there and you manually modify the AR636 receiver uh, there is no off for your flight mode so be very careful uh, with your selection of adhesive to mount the AR636 inside your aircraft uh, the third thing uh, to keep in mind is you want the AR636 to be mounted as straight and level as possible and on a flat surface. And the reason for that is when the AR636 is trying to maintain level flight when safe mode is on, we want it to be uh, you know, as close to mechanically level as possible. Uh, as you saw in the, some of the previous parts, there are ways to uh, electronically adjust that within the settings of the Safe Model Builder Advanced tab, uh, but as close to mechanically level as we can get it is always going to be better. That's all there is to installing the AR636 inside your airplane. Make sure that you stick around for part 14 where we're going to be discussing how to use the Spectrum Bluetooth programming module to make adjustments to your AR636 with your favorite mobile device. 